We just got an interesting one about Firefox and AI. Mozilla's new CEO just published a blog post about where Firefox's future is going, and it is concerning. As Firefox is receiving a lot of backlash at this point, as over the last year, there's been a heavy push in Firefox positioning itself to become an AI browser, whatever that means, but it seems like we're getting a further push into this and people are rightfully concerned. And what the headline says here, Mozilla's next chapter building the world's most trusted software company. How do you do that when you begin focusing on AI? As AI can bring up a bunch of red flags. We don't know why models necessarily do the things that they do. Training can be unclear as we don't know what types of data sources they're actually training on. AI is typically centralized unless you're using open source models. So we begin by saying the most trusted software company is entering in a space that is fundamentally untrusted at this time. Anyways, let's read a little bit about Mozilla's next chapter from Anthony here, the new CEO. Today, I step into the role of CEO of Mozilla Corporation. It is a privilege to lead an organization with a long history standing up for people and building technology that puts them first. The internet is changing fast and so are the expectations people bring to the products they use every day. Mozilla has a critical role to play at this moment. And a big quote here, as Mozilla moves forward, we will focus on becoming the trusted software company. This is not a slogan. It is a direction that guides how we build and how we grow. Well, that's interesting as Mozilla recently changed their privacy policy and their terms of use and language changes in here like broad license clauses and removal of we will never sell data sparked major backlash from users. The perception here was that this weekend, the privacy guarantees and open the door for broader data usage. So seemingly this has been a long time position of the Mozilla Corporation trying to get their footing into AI. And even earlier this year, Firefox deletes the promise to never sell personal data, asks users not to panic. This was probably the most interesting thing that has happened over the past year. In February, this here is from Ars Technica, we're gonna get into exactly where this change occurred. And this was a big deal because Mozilla built its entire brand around the fact that it was a rare browser explicitly promising to keep users safe and not to sell it. It felt like they quietly walked back on a promise as many users saw this as Firefox's moral foundation. This, with the new terms, amplified the fear that the browser was moving away from its fundamentals and of course created backlash. Now we're seeing even more push towards AI. And why wouldn't people have the question that will Firefox use our data and sell our data? It is a big question to ask. Anyways, what exactly happened? Well, there was huge contention here. Does Firefox sell your personal data? This was located on the Firefox Frequently Asked Questions page and was actually removed since February. And what it said here, nope, never have, never will. And we protect you from many of the advertisers who do. Firefox products are designed to protect your privacy. That's a promise. And this led directly to the privacy policy page. It was one of the clearest statements about Firefox's identity. And it got removed. For years, Mozilla was used by people and corporations under the understanding of a promise that personal data would not be sold. And to everyone's surprise, the removal of this sounded like a completely different shift in a company that was longstandingly known for protecting data. And this, with the new CEO pushing aggressively into AI changes and AI development depending heavily on data, including usage patterns, interactive signals, search behavior, and large-scale telemetry, of course the user base is going to be pissed off. This is a huge shift from a values-first organization to a strategy-first one. So let's get back into Anthony's statement and how goofy it really seems after what they've shown us in the last year. It reads as more of a contradiction rather than some sort of reassurance. Mozilla says it wants to be a trusted software company, but the trust, especially in Firefox's case, was built on the concrete understanding that it explicitly promised never to sell data. Removing that promise makes all these types of statements feel hollow. What does it mean to be trusted? What does it mean to be protected? Statements like this, with the timing, makes it feel that should not trust Mozilla anymore. They go from we will never do X to just trust us as we grow. This is starting to sound like branding, not an actual trusted position and company. I wanna get into what exactly the new CEO wants to focus on as that's worrying as well. But before we do, make sure to subscribe below and smash that like button to get this out to more people. YouTube can get finicky. I wanna briefly talk about over the past year, how Firefox has done. According to StackCounter, I've gotten rid of all the other browsers because they were just kind of 
in the way. Right now we stand around 2.3% for Firefox usage. And of course, just about every other browser is more. And even though it hasn't been a big decline, we're looking at December, 2024, all the way to November, 2025, where we went from a 2.47% overall user base in the browser market to a 2.29% browser market share worldwide. That's a fairly significant drop when you consider there's not much wiggle room here for Firefox anyway. Over the last year, it hasn't been too great for them. And it does make sense that Mozilla is trying to pivot as the usage of it has been shrinking over time and Mozilla's finances are heavily dependent and fragile as its main source of revenue actually comes from a single source and that's their Google search deal. Earlier this year, the partnership looked legally uncertain and it exposed how vulnerable the Mozilla Foundation was. So it makes sense that Mozilla wants to move forward and towards AI. AI is where the user attention, funding, and relevance is currently at, but it also ignores the fact that AI risks pushing out what little they have of the user base in the browser marketplace. It feels very defensive at this point, and they really haven't had a clear definition as it feels like Mozilla has kind of gone through some turmoil when it comes to its leadership. Over the last couple of years, we had Michelle Breaker, a longtime leader, and public face of Mozilla and Firefox stepped down in early 2024. Then we had Laura Chambers come in and served as an interim CEO for about two years while Mozilla searched for a replacement. And now in 2025, we finally get Anthony as the new permanent CEO. So over two years, we basically had three different people in the role. So you can imagine that the mission and position of the Mozilla Foundation has been rocky. And with all of these things, that we just mentioned, a declining market share, heavy reliance on revenue from Google, layoffs, structuring, new tech goals like AI integration. It really does seem like Mozilla and Firefox are really going through a rough time. And I don't think this is gonna make it any better. So let's read through what the CEO wants to focus on. As Mozilla moves forward, we will focus on becoming the trusted software company. No idea what that means. This is not a slogan. It is a direction that guides how we build and how we grow it means three things. First, every product we build must give people agency on how it works, privacy, data, and use. And AI must be clear and understandable. Controls must be simple. AI should be a choice, something people can easily turn off. People should know why a feature works the way it does and what value they will get. Second, our business model must align with trust. We will grow through transparent monetization that people will recognize and value. Third, Firefox will grow from a browser into a broader ecosystem of trusted software. Firefox will remain our anchor. It will evolve into a modern AI browser and support a portfolio of new and trusted software additions. This one's just wild to me. And finally, we will measure our progress against a double bottom line. Our work must advance our mission and succeed in the market. In the next three years, that means investing in AI that reflects the Mozilla manifesto. It means diversifying revenue beyond search. I mean, it really feels like corporate speak as there's no clear definition on what some of these things mean. We say that AI must be clear and understandable. Well, what exactly does that mean to be clear and understandable in AI? I don't think anyone's actually answered that question. Then they talk about growing through transparent monetization. What does that look like? And probably the most worrisome thing is the modern AI browser. Is that what people really want? I don't know that that's what the market wants when AI is just being baked into just about everything we do, including with Microsoft Windows. It's becoming a pain to use it as almost every piece of software asks you, do you wanna use Copilot? No, I don't wanna use Copilot. All these mission statements here are a big deal because they're clearly signaling the new CEO's vision of AI integration within Firefox, making it an AI powered browser, and then making this some sort of a broader ecosystem of trusted software, which is also contradictory to what happened to the previous change in the privacy frequently asked questions. And it feels like a betrayal of its core promise Firefox made to its users to be a privacy focused, trustworthy browser that stands apart from others like Chrome. It feels like they're breaking their promises left and right here. And I don't think this forward looking statement and mission seem to be helping any. Now, maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh on this. Still hope that Firefox can be successful because at a minimum, it preserves the choice for people who don't wanna use a different browser. As from the perspective of choice, right now, almost every major browser, including Chrome, Edge, Brave, Opera, and others are all built on Chromium, which is largely shaped by Google's priorities. Without Firefox, Chromium effectively becomes the entire web. And if Firefox fails or just becomes marginal, there's really no other choice as it stands right now to go with a different browser. Yes, there are a few more engines they just haven't adopted. 
But at the very least, this is one of the only reasons I feel like Firefox really needs to get their stuff together and stop to ask what their users really want. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe the backend data shows that everyone wants AI baked into their browsers and it browsing everything for you and just not having any sort of interaction with your browser anymore. I guess that's possible too. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. What do you think about this latest move and this new CEO, Anthony, coming to the table at the Mozilla Foundation? Is this a good or bad thing for Firefox? Definitely had to talk about this one. You made it to the end of the video. You're a true fan. Make sure to subscribe below and smash that like button on the way back up. Hype up the video. I guess that's what YouTube wants us to do now. Either way, I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.